Hi guys, welcome back to Nana's Corner. Today I'm upcycling an old glass bottle into a decoupaged snowman candle. You only need a few things other than the bottle. You'll need a decorative napkin, acrylic paint to match the napkin, a sponge, and a thin paintbrush. And you'll also need some Mod Podge or even just some white glue with some water. Hey, if you're new here, this channel is all about crafting, cooking, baking, and doing all kinds of fun stuff with as little money as possible. So if that's for you, I'd love for you to subscribe. When I get 50 subscribers, there's going to be a giveaway valued at $25, and you don't want to miss out on that. So let's get started. Here I'm sponging the white base coat all over the bottle. I'm using white because I have snowmen on my napkin, and I don't want another color showing through. But you use whatever color you feel will go with the napkin you're using. If you use a sponge to pat the paint on the bottle, you'll get better, better coverage than if you brush it on. Any kind of sponge will work. Use what you have. And if you're done and you still see writing through, go ahead and give it another second coat once it dries. I only needed one. I found the patting technique covered very well. I'm covering the whole bottle. Um, if you feel like you don't want to cover the whole bottle, do you. It's all up to you. Decorate it the way you want to. But I kind of wanted it to have a, a similar feel throughout and then we're going to change it up a bit. But I just gave it a base coat of the white all over and here you see I'm using a smaller sponge brush just to get into all the smaller areas in between the, the handle. Now for the napkin. You need to take the layers apart and only use the top layer. Most napkins have three layers, but the snowman ones I got at a, the Dollar Tree only had two. So make sure you get all the layers. You may have to tear the napkin a bit to get the layers apart at first, but once you get it started, it's very easy. Just be gentle, it tears very easily. Now you wanna tear your design from the napkin rather than cutting it. Cutting's going to leave kind of a sharp edge and you don't want it to show through your paint. Tearing it will give it a more blended look. The easiest way that I find to do this is to paint on just plain water and paint it around your design and it will tear where the water line is. I don't know why I started in the middle of the napkin. Going from the outside was much easier. You just work your way all the way around the design. Once you have your design torn from the napkin, you want to check for placement and see uh, where on the bottle you're going to want to glue it. It looks good when it wraps around the bottle, so don't worry if you think it's not going to fit. Just wrap it around and it'll work. Be generous with the Mod Podge, but try not to leave globs because the napkin gets very fragile when it gets wet and it'll tear with the slightest rubbing. So be very careful when putting the napkin on the bottle because once it touches, it's there. Don't try to move it. Just pat it down with dry fingers the best you can. If it does tear, don't panic. We'll fix that at the end with some paint. Now once you have it patted down and the wrinkles and bubbles are out the best you can get it, you want to cover it with another layer of Mod Podge all over the napkin. But again, be very careful and try not to brush too much in one area because it will tear the napkin. You kind of just want to pat it on and smooth it out the best you can. And you're going to do the same process for all the sides that you want to with the napkin. If you just want to do one picture on one side then that's fine we'll just paint the rest of the bottle this project's a good project for a day when you have things to catch up on because there's going to be drying periods between each step 
and you really want it to dry before going on or you could end up with a big mess. I got quite a few presents wrapped while I was waiting for it to dry. To dry. Or if you're doing two of these, work on one while the other one's drying. I'm going to place these on my back porch on the table table while we're making s'mores over the fire on Christmas Eve. I think they're going to re look really good out there. Get around that handle was a little bit difficult you just kind of got to press it in there and if you need to tear it go ahead and tear it just pat it on down and and it'll work it, it looks may look a little funny at first but once it's completed it really looks cute Okay, now that it dried, I'm sponging on the background color. In my case, I used red, but match yours to your napkin. You can paint the whole bottle this color or leave some of your base color. The decorating's up to you, like I said, and whatever you like, whatever you think looks good. Everybody has a different style. And once again, I'm patting it on. I'm using a smaller brush to get in those smaller areas. The patting, patting technique really works good, I think you'll find. It covers very quickly. Now I covered the neck of the bottle, but you don't have to worry about covering that too much uh, because we'll put a ribbon around it. Unless you're not going to use a ribbon, then you're going to want to color it. But I think the ribbon adds a nice touch to it. It really sets it off. And remember, you're going to want this whole thing to dry again. Here I'm using a heat gun um, just to dry the paint a little bit. I'm mainly drying the red paint because I'm going to put some white over the bottom so the snow stands out. 
and I didn't want it to turn pink. And you'll notice I'm going over some of the edges, uh, some of the napkin, uh, more than just the edges. It's to give it a more blended technique. When you do that, it kind of makes it look like the whole thing was painted at the end. Okay, so here I'm showing you where the napkin either tore or overlapped or doesn't look good for whatever reason, but it needs to be fixed. So now you just take your paint and you go over those areas. Like I said, these touches are good to do even if your napkin's perfect. It gives it a more blended look and gives the look that actually the whole picture is painted instead of a napkin glued on the bottle. Take your time, have fun with this. You'll see I even added some snowflakes to my background. And I'm just following the picture that's on the napkin, just going over it. Um, may have changed a little bit of it up, but nobody's going to know. It looked good. Don't worry about if you're not a good painter or whatever. This is a, it's a fun project. Just go with it. And sometimes not being exactly perfect gives it a better look. It gives it more of a free-flowing look. And just go back over to make it whiter because sometimes it doesn't cover. And here I'm putting on some snowflakes. Oh no, that's the the other part of the candy. Snowflakes are coming up, I promise. <laughs> there they are. And you just freeform some snowflakes, some dots. Just randomly place them wherever. Don't worry about being perfect. Now here I'm putting the, the eyes. And instead of trying to paint a perfect circle for the eyes, a good tip is to use the end of your paintbrush. The, not the bristles, the other end. Just tap it into the black paint and go straight on one time onto the eye area and you'll have a perfect circle for the eyes.
just checking to make sure all the snowmen have mouths. And now I'm just adding a little color to the nose. The nose was okay, but I just felt like, oh, let me brighten it up a bit. Same with the little cheeks of the snowman. I just painted over them and gave them a little blushy look. And like I said, it, it turns out looking like you painted the whole bottle. Just by adding a few touches here and there. And now I'm just giving the buttons to the snowman, brightening them up a bit where I covered them with the white. And you see, you can still see them. So I'm just brightening them up with some paint. No real painting skills. And what I just showed you right there is snow text. It's snow in a jar. And I added that to the white areas on the bottom by the snowman and patted a little bit on the snowman's body just to give it some texture and, and some life to it. You don't have to do this, but I just thought it looked really cool. If you don't have texture or snow, you can use um, modeling paste or you can even make your own texture. And I'll do a video on that if you're interested on how to make that. Um, leave me a comment below and I'll, if you're interested in learning how to make your own texture, and I'll make a video for you. Now here at the end, I'm just thinning out some of the white paint with water and just get it real thin so that you can splash on to the bottle. It gives it more of a, a realistic snowy look. Just watch your face. I almost went out of the house with white dots all over my face and I didn't even feel it. Leave it to me. But you just splash them on randomly all over. It gives it a more finished look. Now once your bottle's completely dry, all the paint, there's no stickiness to it, you want to cover the whole thing with a real good layer of Mod Podge. Or if you're using the watered down Elmer's glue, that's fine too. This is going to seal it and it's going to give it a real nice cohesive look. And after that dries, all that's left to do is just a matter of adding a ribbon with a bow around the neck and putting a candle in. Like I said, I made a pair of these and I'm going to be using them on my outside back patio table on Christmas Eve. They're going to light up the area where we make s'mores by the fire outside. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And like I said, if you have any questions or just want to say hi, leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you.